Nets name an awful lot. They, they, they've done even better than you. Yeah, they've been lately. great. They've been great. Malik, um, one of the reasons why the scrimmages have been so uh, so competitive is Malik with that second unit has been terrific. Um, and our net, I mean, I uh, I didn't expect him to be this far along after missing all summer, mm -hmm. and he's still not 100%. Uh, but I mean, he's big, he's strong, he can rebound the ball, he's got a great feel for the game, and uh, has played very, very well. So. You know, it's sort of interesting watching, you know, last year, you know, we were a little bit of a finesse team. We're, we're a contact team now. I mean, guys on our team, they, they hit, they don't mind being hit. And it's a real different personality that we have. Do you see them? I know you talked about specialists the other day and those their team names came up or whatever, but do you see them fitting in? I mean, it's tough with the rotation you have now or all well, the numbers you have now. I mean, you know, a lot of it is going to be how it shakes loose on the perimeter. I mean, right now, you know, my five perimeter guys, uh, you know, were Evan, Drew, uh, Darrell, Nick, and uh, Jay Rich. You know, so, I mean, Malik has played well. I mean, I, I've been very happy with Damian Wilkins. He's played well. So, and then our net, I mean, we haven't seen Andrew yet, but you got Andrew, you got Spencer, uh, you got Kwame, uh, you've got Thad, and you got Lavoy. I mean, Lavoy played great today. I mean, Lavoy is. Uh, Shooting the ball with confidence and doing things, so I mean it's a nice it's a nice thing to have. Where I have confidence, uh, you know, Michael Curry. We were talking before uh, our practice as we get together, and uh, he said, you know, our guys nine through fourteen, you know, we, we feel like we've got tremendous depth, and, and we feel confident any of those guys can get in and play. That's a nice feeling to have, especially, you know, to help you, uh, you know, if you have injuries, to be able to continue to play well. Like you touched on it a little bit yesterday, but just talk about the, the, the floor space that you guys have out there now that you're capable to have with, with your shooters. Well, I mean, it's everything. I mean, when you when you push the ball down the floor, and if you got Drew or you got Malik or Evan or uh, Smoke or whoever's doing it, when they look up and they've got places to go on the floor, you know, you 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 get, you've got driving lanes, and then what ends up happening if somebody helps. You know, if they help at the rim, you've got a big guy you can you, know, you can play off of. If they help off the perimeter, you've got the drive and kick game. And, uh, you know, we really worked, uh, you know, uh, we had a nice 10-minute session really pushing that ball and, and playing early offense out of a couple different things. And, and our guys are very comfortable doing that, especially because the floor is so spaced. And, and again, we have, we have big guys who are doing a better job screening. And on the weak side, they're doing a better job of punching in and getting deep post position. So that if we do swing that ball last year, we played so much on the perimeter. If we swing it now, our first look is we want to look to if we can go right that ball, put that ball right into the post. And to do that, you have to have the floor space where there's where there's places to go. So, I mean, it's the whole essence of having any kind of good offense is is floor spacing. And it looks like with Malik, that whole drive and kick thing, that looks like it's right up his alley. It is. I mean, and, I mean, he's making shots. Um, and again, I I, I, I love. I love uh, Smoke and, and Malik and that second unit, what they've done, because, I mean, they're up the floor, they're, they're pressuring Evan, they're pressuring Drew, and, you know, that's one of the things that we're going to have to be able to do is, you know, especially if Drew's out of the game, are we going to have somebody who can enter our offense, can run our offense for us? I mean, we, we want Darrell to be able to help us with that, but, uh, I mean, uh, Smoke and, and Malik have both done a good job with that. So, you know, guys are starting to find their way, and I like that they're playing with confidence. I mean, Arnett and, and Malik, are both playing with a lot of confidence. So is the, st the structure of the offense going to be that different, or is it just maybe the priorities and the and the options within it as uh, far as getting the ball into the post more? Like well, I, I mean, w I mean, we would like to establish that paint, you know. And if you play inside out, it creates so many opportunities. So, I mean, is the structure of offense going to be different? We're running a lot of the same things. But the end result of it is uh, we want to make sure we're looking in the post so we don't we don't want to be a two-point jump shooting team. We'd like to be in the paint three. And is, are the, the bigs still interchangeable like they, they've been in the yeah, past? Or uh, is the that one, the, different with Andrew? Uh, 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 Andrew will be a center, and, and Kwame is a center. I think all of our other bigs can play two spots. But I mean, if he's on the uh, other than that, that yeah. would be a... right. I mean, if he's on the floor, I mean, there's there's a there's a hierarchy as far as who's who's getting to the into the post and, and no, no first first guy down rim runs. Yeah.
you know, so and then if, if, if Andrew's our second guy down, then we've got ways to get him into the post on the backside. You know, so that's our whole emphasis is that, you know, it's, it's you know, he doesn't have to sprint down the floor. We'd like the first big to get down and take somebody with him, which now opens up the floor. And then, you know, on the backside of things, and we have Andrew playing out of the post, that's what we're trying to do. How is the simulation thing going, Doug? Three, three, four days in practice. Now, how's that work with you guys? In terms of uh, in terms of how the guys are be able to figure out what they're doing without Andrew. On the floor. Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're, 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 once he gets out there, we're gonna continue to play the same way. So what we've done is we've 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 tweaked what we were doing early because I just didn't like the first day some of the things we did to incorporate it where we think that now the way we're playing that. When Andrew comes in, you know, we can plug him in. Now, obviously, he's going to start drawing double teams and doing right. things that our other guys aren't getting. Right. So that will be a little bit of an adjustment. But for the most part, you know, when he comes in there and plays, we want to keep playing the same way. Right. Doug, the physicality that you talked about, it seems like Evan's finishing more right up near the rim as opposed to last year where it was the... Yeah. Was that a conscious thing on your part, or is it something that he's just brought with him this year? Well, I, I think, you know, one of the things, it's a subtle little thing, Bob, but, you know, when you've got a big guy who's a big, strong guy frozen on the other side of the basket and you've got a driving uh, a, dr a guy driving to the basket, sometimes those guys don't want to get their bodies off that big guy. We, we have the ability now to sort of lob that ball at the rim, and we got some big guys that can catch above the rim and finish the play. So I think it's helped Evan. But the one thing about Evan is, we, you know, we've talked to him about, you know, not not a degree of difficulty, you know, but going in there and really drawing contact. I thought he did that well in the playoffs last year. If you looked at our free throw shooting in the regular season, uh, we didn't get to the line. But when we changed our starting lineup with Evan out there with Dre and and uh, and Drew, and then and Lou was one of our best guys getting to the free throw line. We were a team that started shooting a lot more free throws. But you know, Eb at the, at his stage of his career is a guy who's going to be more of a pick and pop jump shooter. And, and our bigs now are guys that uh, are, are going to be more willing to sort of, because they, they're younger and they're big, sort of bigger and they have that ability to get in there and draw the fouls, I think that's really going to help us. And does that bring out the best of Evan's game, do you think? Evan's a, Evan's a below the foul line player. That's where his strength is offensively. Uh, pushing the ball, uh, getting to that foul line, pulling up, looking for shots. Uh, we're running some actions now where we're getting those guys cutting and, and posting. We want him to be able to do that. Um, that's, that's when Evan really is at his best offensively. Now, if he's simulating, he, he's done a good job of making some really good passes uh, to our bigs when he's come off those screens and he's got a good feel where our guys are. So I've been very happy with that. And mm -hmm. I think one of the things we'll, we'll define with all of our guys is you know, where, where their sugar is out on the floor offensively. Mm -hmm. what, what do they do best and how we can best take advantage of that. With Andrew's uh, low post ability, I mean, is is the pressure on, on Drew to get him the ball? Has he had point guards that can get him the ball as, as much as as much as he? Well, they, they, you know, uh, when Phil was there, they always played out of the triangle, mm -hmm. and so they really didn't play with a point guard. Now last year uh, with Mike Brown, a little different because they didn't play the triangle as much. So the triangle is a low post offense, and the, the essence of that is ball movement and 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 cutting and slashing and throwing that ball in the post with spacing. And so that's the way uh, uh, Drew's always played, our, uh, Andrew. D Drew, we want Drew to, anytime he can, push that ball in the open court. We don't want to be a set-up team. You know, that's why I said before, we want the initial thrust, and then we have it set up where if, if, if Andrew's the last guy down, that we know we can go right into things where if we do what we want to do, we can get him the ball on the backside out of a triangle kind of set. And so those are the things we're looking to try to do. But Drew, we, uh, Holiday, we want him to push that ball anytime he can. Malik, Drew, uh, any of our guards, push that ball. We think all of them, Darrell, Evan, and then we want to get early offense. We want to shoot transition threes. We don't want to become a, just where you come down waiting to play through the post. But at the same time, you should feel more comfortable in half court now that you have Oh, a, we should a be a much better half court team. A, Absolutely. Can draw double teams. Absolutely. I mean, that, I mean, the essence of getting two on the ball, you either do it in a pick and roll game where you get two on the ball and play four and five, or you throw the ball in the post, you get two on the ball and you play four on, on, on or excuse me, play four and three then on the other side. So if we can get numbers, then we got spacing and, you know, we got, we got guys who can shoot. I thought Nick Young had his best practice today. And, and I told the thing about Nick is, you know, everything we're doing right now is big picture offensively. It's learning a, a big picture offense. 
and then as we get going, I'll start putting in specific things to take advantage of guys. I don't want to do that right now. I, I want us to learn how to play out of a big picture, and then we'll learn with certain guys what they like to do. I mean, I know what I know what Nick likes to do. I know the actions he likes to do. I watched a lot of tape, and then when we get down to where we're starting to play, and he's coming in off the bench. It's all like what I did with Lou, you know, with what what Lou did. So then we'll get more specific. But I was very happy with him today, and uh, and his defense. He had a better defensive scrimmage today. So. It's, uh, it's been very encouraging, you know, to where we are right now. And I think we've got good camaraderie with our team. I think they really enjoy playing with one another, and it's been fun.